Shazam 15 here. This week's film was The Gear. Now, I haven't heard much... Prior to watching this film, I hadn't heard much about it. So, I went in with completely open mind. I will point out that what I had heard about it, it was billed as a bromance. It wasn't really a bromance. There was a bromance dimension, but not much. Right. Plot summary. The Big Year is about three people embarking on a competition that exists in the United States for spotting the most number of wildlife species, most number of bird species in North America. It's done entirely on the honor system and an explanation as to its origins and history is provided by John Cleese being a nice authoritative British voice. Uh, right. Basically, this is hobbies taken to a ridiculous scale. This is something that you can only do in the States, because... I mean, I admit, I travel a lot for my hobby, but nowhere near as much as this, because I've never had to take a plane anywhere. I've especially not had to take a plane all the way down to the other end of Alaska, which is one of the locations that it... Basically... To give you a rough idea of the three characters, you have Jack Black's character, who is still relatively young, and he's never really found what he wants in his life. The only thing that he knows he likes in his life is birds. He loves birds. And that's brilliant. His father doesn't understand. His mother is happy to be his travel agent. <laughs> And, you know, he does his job, but he's not happy in it. He just wants to have his nice big year. You've got a retiree played by Stephen Martin, who's, you know, run a Fortune 500 company, but really he just loves his birds, and he wants to go on with them. But his company doesn't want him in retirement, so they're always trying to tempt him back throughout the year. You've then got... Oh, what's his name? Broken nose guy. Uh, I can't remember his name, but you got the other guy who is a roof. He's a contractor who's got the record previously for the most number of birds in history, and he's trying to prevent anyone else from beating his record. So he goes out and does his big year, not intending to as a big year, which annoys his wife, and his wife feels neglected and all that. By contrast, you got Steve Martin's wife, who's ridiculously supportive of this, because at the end of the day, she's known he's wanted to do this for so long, and she's just glad he gets to do it as just a start to his retirement, so he doesn't have to do it next <laughs> later on, when she really wants his attention. Uh, what else is there? Right, I've mentioned John Cleese's awesome appearance. Uh, I've mentioned the rough plot summary you've got some interesting ladies if you like the ladies it's got a good dimension of basically Jack Black and Steve Martin of the bromance you're the other one who's a bit outside it but he's always trailing along and they're always trailing him and it works I particularly like the British the line by a bunch of educated British guys who suggest that only the Americans could make birding a competition the irony is, I used to call it bird watching, so eh, eh. I don't understand what the difference is, but apparently there is one. Anyway, uh, yeah, there's lovely birds, and the other thing which this one is brilliant for is the idea that if your family doesn't understand your hobby, one of the best ways you can deal with them is bring them along. Usually, they see your hobby, they see how you are with your hobby, they will suddenly understand all of that. Because my sister didn't understand my hobby. Then she came along to one of my hobby's little shows, and she understood. Or at least she's supportive now. She gets that this is something I like, and this is something that I get a bit of publicity for every now and again, and it's just nice. Uh, what else is there to really cover? Romance. There's a bit of romance. I mean, overall, this is one of those films where it's a surprisingly good film. It's not, you know, up there. It's sort of a B, but it's a decent, it's a solid B. 
not to say it's a B-list movie, it's just a solid B in terms of, if you had to grade it, it would be a solid B. Because, okay, it's not absolutely fantastic, but it does nicely. You've got lovely bits of birds, you've got wonderful locations, you've got interesting interpersonal relationships and how this entire thing... It's about relationships. It's about how you deal with other people. And, you know, it's about loving your hobby as well. It's lovely. Basically, it's got some good lessons. It's got an okayish plot. It's not 100% predictable. It's got some stunning locales. And solid acting talent. Basically, I'd say it's a B, maybe B+. Plus. Anyway, um, yeah, so I will see you next week. If you want to go see the big year, enjoy.